May the four corners of the globe rise to come alive as one soul To start brutality, the authority used to keep us wild, let's go Homo throwing the world, management block the action The Vatican impose a world peace, we oppose black magic and greed Mass my control with these religious beliefs Cause the war, conquer the souls of humanity Bounce is for the triggers of being squeezed Hot bullets shot throughout the world, spreading like a venom disease Good morning everybody I'd like to start off by thanking everybody for continuing to watch the videos and continuing to give me words of encouragement uh, through your comments. Um, i like to say that our human body is a sophisticated piece of technology. I know we're not exactly trained to look at ourselves as technology, but I see ourselves being embodied in the biological supercomputer that's capable of doing extraordinary things. And a lot of these abilities and talents are depicted in your cartoons, in your Marvel comic movies, or any type of hero movie of the sort. I have, in my time on the planet, have been able to bi-locate and visit different planets or other worlds or realities. I've been able to transform into a serpent in meditation. I've been able to communicate with different animals and the environment I've been able to embody sea creatures, whether they was dolphins or fish or whales or any type of oceanic creature. I've been able to look through their eyes and see in the deep, deepness of the ocean. I have been able to fly. Keep in mind, all these things are in altered states of reality, which are very legitimate. I haven't done these things uh, here in this third dimension of reality, but there are some extraordinary things that I have been capable of doing in this reality here, which I'll explain later. And I have memories of being knights. Uh, I have memories of being a gladiator. I have uh, memories of being uh, a many lifetime as a monk and uh, studying all the ancient mysticism and secrets on how to do these things with the higher chakra system. I've been able to tap into um, my memory bank of my ninth and 11th chakra of past lifetimes from having these extraordinary abilities and talents. And uh, I've been having massive downloads of electrical jolts of voltage in my body, where my body actually raises up somewhat, not exactly in a, into a levitated state, but it jumps from a jolt of energy as if I've been electrocuted from downloading. Uh, feels like tons and tons of information. Well, the inside of my body is completely lit up. I've been able to see into realities of what has been called uh, the fifth dimension. And I will tell you that this is where the ideal of Blu-ray and uh, HD come from because to be inside of reality is to be watching one of those videos and uh, uh, to be watching one of those HD TVs and Blu-ray DVDs and you can see how how the, the graphics and everything just looks so, I don't know, just just looks so, just, I don't even, I can't even find a word to describe it, but you, you understand what I'm saying. It, it's just so much different from your regular TV. And I've experienced these things in other realities in the fifth dimension. And I tell you, this is where they got these ideas from to sell to you. And also, it's a movie called The Knowing. And at the end of the movie, where the extraterrestrials come down and take the children back to uh, see the new civilization, that scene of them running on the land in this new civilization, once the, once the crystal starships takes back off, 
it's a good depiction of it, but still don't serve it for you actually to witness that reality yourself. I know a lot of these things seem unreal, and I know a lot of these things seem just, you know, unbelievable. So I don't knock anybody for looking at me as if I'm a fucking fool right now, because that's, <laughs> that's understandable, and I have no problem with that. I speak my truths, you know, but I always tell people, you know, did you see Jesus walk on water? All right, but you, but you, you know, you believe that he did. Did you see Jesus uh, uh, turn wine into water? All right, but you believe that he did that. So you have all these different beliefs in your religious texts that you have been trained to believe in. But I can come to you with my truths that I've experienced in, in these types of situations. And it'd be very difficult for most of the, 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 the human population to believe me. Although I know there are some who's going to feel me wholeheartedly. And these are not things to make me special as an individual. We all are special, special in our individual way. But these are things that our bodies are capable of doing. And I feel myself upgrading more and more every day. There's no doubt in my mind that at some point in this reality, once everything start taking off, that myself and others will be able to demonstrate these things to the peoples of the planet to show that you have these abilities also. So I have uh, flooded memories of being a, a, a shamanistic warrior and all the mysticism of, of, of the whole magic, witchcraft, Merlin type of thing, you know, of being in, 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 in societies uh, uh, where, uh, uh, like, like uh, Lords of the Ring type of shit. You know, all these things have been just, uh, my, the, my memory floodgates is, is just, is just overshadowing sometimes for all the things that, uh, I've endured and I've experienced too many lifetimes. And I can say that I've actually lived thousands of lifetimes. I've been actually to be able to rewind time in, in this lifetime, where um, the shortest time span I've rewind back was at least about 10 to 15 minutes. Where, whereas if I've done something, and what the actual thing was, I laid my clothes out on the bed to get ready to get dressed. And I was intuitively hit to just go into meditation. And as soon as I went into meditation, about 10 seconds into meditation, I can see myself going back in the same trace of steps, putting the clothes out, laying the clothes out on the bed, you know, like I normally do before I get ready to take a shower. And it was a, at least a, a 15 minute time span in this reality. I've also done that same rewind of time. You know, I always tell people that we have our own DVD. So it don't matter if nobody's not watching you with their eyes or you're not witnessing nobody watching you or what you do. Everything is being recorded deep in, in the cells of your blood. I've also been able to, in meditation, see my blood cells. I've been able to see different organs. Uh, I, I, I've seen myself as, uh, 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 I, 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 I've, I've experienced being a woman. I, I've experienced, <laughs> I've experienced so, so many, so many different realities and all these things in me and I'm integrating these things into this one being here because here is what they've been calling the hot spot and here is where the universe and the, and the, universe and the whole uh, galactic and, 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 and all of the distant planets and society is watching us as they're looking at a TV show. You know, and it's the same way that I view the, the, the world here now. I, I, I view it as a TV show. This is enough entertainment for me. But they're depicting all these abilities and talents that we all have in your movies. You know, but you're not aware that these things are real because they call them sci-fi. And again, I tell you, where do you think the ideas actually come from? These are real ideas, and our body is a very sophisticated piece of technology. You know, they have the ability to make uh, babies in, in test tubes, yet people want to, you know, tell jokes about that, about somebody who they feel is deformed or retarded or something like that, and you make a little joke calling them a test tube baby. You see the technology that they, they're showing you that they have these capabilities. All right, so there's no reason for me to doubt that we are actually surrogate beings. They have a movie about that, about being a surrogate. They have this this stuff in the Matrix uh, about about coming into in, uh, about coming into different realities being plugged in. I meditate and communicate with myself all the time, uh, right outside the Earth's atmosphere because I'm on a ship out there, or up there, or down there. You know, and, and you know, to my understanding, if looking at the sky, hell, we could be actually looking down in the ground. You know, because everything is, is so reversed here on this planet. I'm still being amazed every day uh, as more as, and the more and more I awaken to my abilities and who I am because I'm still searching for the totality of my of my being, you know. So these are different things that, uh, that we're going to have to come 
come to grips with new th new new concepts that we all are gonna have to to start changing our minds on new ways because we've been led down a path of darkness and these are the reasons why I've integrated all of these multi-dimensional uh, realities of myself and it's no different from playing the, the new video games they got where you actually can see the gun on the screen and it's actually like you looking through the veil of somebody else's eyes that's a lot like how the meditations are when you go into these other realities but I see other aspects of myself as other creatures I'm not always in human form that's why I always say I'm in disguise now as a human I've been a woman I've been uh, different myth mythological creatures you know I've, 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 I've fought with dragons I've, I've done all these things you know uh, and, and these things were the same work that I'm basically doing now it's just a different backdrop different background so we have the ability to change the background. It's just all a matter of raising your body's frequency to tune into that channel. We've just been only allowed to be uh, tuned into this one frequency to see this one reality. But in this reality here, my abilities are I can see aurals, uh, the aura of different objects, of stones, of the trees, of, 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 of buildings, of clothing, of uh, different objects. I can see the energy field that's around them. So these things that are, are definitely real. And it's one thing that I haven't cracked the code of, uh, my ability to pretty much illuminate darkness. Uh, I do this by going into the bathroom and I would stay in darkness for about 30 seconds. And I would flip the light switch on and off very quickly. And when I switch it on and off, all of a sudden the light bulbs will illuminate, the whole room would illuminate. And I will wave my hand in front of my eyes, feeling the motion of it, but I cannot see my physical hand because I'm just consciousness. I'm just, I'm just in, in, in the thought form. I don't know if I'm crossing from a third or fourth dimension as a death walker or not, but I have communicated with different spirits. I don't necessarily invoke spirits through any ritual practice, but I have studied room magic, so I don't go around making fucking voodoo dolls, sticking pins at people's asses and shit like that. I don't, I don't uh, uh, do that type of, of, of ritualistic uh, magic in that way. And I still haven't cracked the call on that. And I even talked to uh, a person that's in a high order of mysticism that practice magic and they could not even understand how I had the ability to do that. And these are things that are going on here right now in this physical world with my life. So, and uh, a quick note is the lights in your sky are definitely real. They're not swamp gases or any type of bullshit uh, uh, they, they telling you on the media. And uh, as soon as these arrests get gone and disclosure get gone and whoever don't want to cooperate with the light, you're going to have more sightings and the sightings are going to be uh, witnessed by, by non-believers. The people who believe out there, it's not necessary for you to see these, but you're gonna get your chance also. So don't feel left out because you wanna see them. You, you will get your chance, all right? But these are basically for the non-believers. We need non-believers to come on board because the more we can gather them to understand and or to at least open their mind up to the possibility, we can manifest these things more. Because as I said, we are the creator gods and goddesses of this planet. And we are taking back control of the planet. The dark side time is over. They have their time to reign. And our love goes out to them because I embrace that darkness and it talked us a lot. Because without the darkness, how would you, without the bad shit, how would you know what was good in this place of duality? So this has been a serious game of life. All right, but they just hit the rule book from you. But now the rule book is coming all back together because your DNA is building. You're coming into the strict 12 strand DNAs. And I know there's more of me out there that's going through the same changes and transmutations and metamorphosis that I'm going through now. So Chris Angel is actually uh, demonstrating a lot of these abilities. So you can look at them as illusions, as, as you know, if, if that's what makes you feel better about it. But I look at those things of, of, of actual things that we're capable of doing. All right. So that's my time for today. Uh, as you can see, I'm talking much more clear now. <laughs> and I feel more comfortable talking about some of the things that people can look at me in the most craziest way. So uh, I love you guys and y'all stay tuned. There's a lot of changes about to be going on. It's really a time for celebration. So y'all take care. I love y'all. Peace, light, love. 
And you just thought suicide, but why? Are you choosing to die? Get the fuck up with the rest of us and take back control of your mind. But keep in mind, violence is useless. All the creation is more destruction, chaos, death, and confusion. The best of this system is the wisdom that I'm giving. It's a fail set mechanism to keep your mind out of this myth of prison. Are you fused with darkness to transmute and use it to deliver divine messages with love? You're gonna use it.